Well, hello, RC enthusiasts. You just caught me setting up my set. And you're just in time. We're gonna do a video, another how-to video, on how to update your receivers, well, some of your receivers, to being smart compatible. So recently, we just came out with new smart ESCs. A smart ESC is an ESC that takes battery data from a Spectrum smart battery, as well as ESC data, and transmit all that data straight over one wire, namely the signal wire on your speed control, through your receiver to your radio. Really cool stuff. I'm really excited to show you guys this. With these receivers, you will have to update them if you already have one of these receivers. The receivers I'm talking about are the two Antennalist receivers for the AIR uh, division. That's the AR410 and the AR620, which I have them all on this table here, as well as the SR215, SR315, and SR515 receivers. These are all newer receivers and they have special hardware that allows us to have this magic happen. What you will do is you will update these receivers using a PC or a laptop like I have here and our Spectrum update cable. This cable is SPMA3065. We will have more receivers coming out that will support this technology and you'll know if it supports it when it has the Spectrum logo on the label for the receiver. You might even see it on the labels for your radios and things like that moving forward. So keep an eye out for that if you wanna know if it will support Spectrum Smart ESCs. Like I said, take a look for the Spectrum Smart logo. So let's jump down to the bench right here onto my laptop and I'll show you how to update a couple of receivers. All right, so we're down here at my computer and I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to update a Surface and an Air receiver. For the Surface receiver, we're going to choose an SR315, this guy right here. Um, and like I said, this will be for the 315, the 215, and the 515 receivers. Um, and they're really simple to update. You just gotta have a Windows PC and a SPMA3065 update cable. This same cable we use for a multitude of products nowadays, ranging from receivers to flight controllers to radios and many things in between. So the first thing that you'll have to have if you don't already is the Spectrum Programmer PC app. And this is a Windows app. Unfortunately, you Mac guys are a little left out in the cold on this one. You might have to get some sort of boot camp emulator for Windows on your computer if you don't have like an extra, I mean really, you don't have to have anything powerful. You could go pick up a $100 Windows PC laptop and, and do this right there. Or borrow your friends, uh, or if you have a local hobby shop, maybe they'll help you out and let you do it there. Nonetheless, you need the Prex Spectrum Programmer. Easiest place to find that is, and we'll drop down here into Windows uh, onto a Internet Explorer like Google Chrome, and we'll look up SPMA3065, enter, and we'll look it up on either Horizon Hobby or SpectrumRC.com. We'll go to Spectrum, and you're gonna go to PC Download right here. and you're gonna download the latest version. This guy here, I've already got it installed, so I'm just gonna go ahead and open it up on my desktop. And you'll see that it says at the top left-hand corner that I am already logged in. Great thing about this Spectrum updater is that it will connect to your Spectrum community login through the updater and register devices to that community login. So if you go to the website and you log in, you'll see that this re receiver was registered. Let's go ahead and do that. All right, so once you have the Spectrum Programmer open up on your PC, we're going to plug in our USB cable, the SPM3065, into a open USB port. And if this is the first time that you're plugging in, you'll usually get a, I'm installing drivers thing on your computer, just let it do its thing, and then open up the programmer. Or if you've had the programmer for a while and you've updated other things, it should already be there and we'll just plug it in, it'll go doo doo loo and we're good to go. On the Surface receivers, the SR215, 315, and 515 receivers, you will plug this cable in to the throttle port. That is our data port. The other receivers, the air receivers, they actually label that port as slash data. 
go ahead and you, um, that kind of explains it for you. But just for your knowledge, we're going to plug this in, the programmer, into the throttle port, like so. And then we'll hit power cable up in the right hand corner. And when I uh, use the power cable option on this, that's when you don't have a battery plugged in, you don't have servos plugged into this receiver, it's just kind of laying out on its own. So don't use power cable if you're going to use it while it's already plugged in uh, or installed into an aircraft. Power cable, yes. And then we'll hit connect. There it is, we have connected. And you'll see the light on here will be blinking just kind of because it's receiving and transmitting data back and forth between your computer. We will go to check for update. Ah, so if this receiver has never been registered to me or anybody else, we hit check for update and it'll say, you need to register it. Great, I will register it. I will say it's the smart SR315. That's what I will call it. Register. Okay, it's registered and it will say that there is a new version available. We'll hit update. And it'll be updating the device. You don't, don't have to worry about moving it around, you know, just don't unplug it. If it does get interrupted, then you just update it again. Not a big deal. The device was updated successfully and now you're ready to go. Now your receiver is smart compatible. Let's do the same thing with a air receiver real quick, just so you guys can see how simple it is. So I will unplug, plug into, like I said, the data port. It's gonna be number one data on this one. We'll reopen the Spectrum Programmer just to get a fresh start. We will like the other receiver, hit power cable. Yes, and hit connect. Now we're connected. It's checking for updates. Once again, we'll check for update. We'll re register it. This is actually my buddy Alex's receiver, so I'll just say it's Alex's AR620 because I told him I'd help him out and update it while I'm here. Register. And we've got the same thing, version 2.33. Just update to the latest one. Yours may not be the same one that I'm seeing here. Install. Update. And it's updating. And we're done. Okay, unplug, good to go. So once you have that all done, you just plug in your smart ESC into your throttle channel, use the Spectrum battery, a smart battery, or not, you'll get, still get uh, ESC data from, that, uh, from the ESC without a Spectrum smart battery. Like I said, if you guys wanna learn more about Spectrum smart technology, go ahead and check out this playlist that I have linked in the top corner. And if you have any other comments or questions or you want to learn more about Smart, smart go ahead and leave us a comment uh, in those questions in the comments below or message us on Facebook. Thanks for watching this video. We'll have a lot more awesome Spectrum how-to videos. We'll even be upgrading some things to Spectrum. If there's something that you in particular want to see upgraded to Spectrum, again, leave it in the comments below and we'll see if we can make it happen. Thanks guys for watching this video and I hope you have a great day. Stay smart, everybody.